Not only does Titler Pro give you the tools you need to design high quality custom built titles, but it also provides you with the ability to animate them using in and out animations, fly ins, warps, zooms, and more. This video will cover the basics of adding transitions to your object so that your titles will be more than just static images. They'll be eye catching animated graphics that will take your project to the next level. Before discussing transitions, we'll start with a quick overview on how to modify objects on the timeline. When an object is created, it'll be represented as an item on the timeline. Each new item will span the length of the timeline initially. By dragging the handlebars on the left and right, you can adjust when the object plays in and out. You can also drag the entire bar to move it earlier or later, or up and down to change its layering relative to other objects. To add a new transition, select an object in the workspace, open the library, and select Transitions from the dropdown. Each folder contains a different category of transition based on the new BlueFX packages that you have in your collection. Preview a transition by mousing over it in the library, and apply it to your selected object by double-clicking. You can also add a transition or effect by dragging it into the workspace or onto the timeline. You'll also notice that dragging a transition onto the latter half of an object in the timeline applies it as an outro animation. When applying transition animations to the different elements of your title, you'll want to be aware of the Elastic Timeline's pause point. This is the frame of the title that will be held after the title plays in and before it plays out, regardless of the title's length in your video editing software. In most cases, you'll want to be sure that all of your intro animations end before the pause point and all of your outro animations start after the pause point. This will ensure smooth transitions in your video project regardless of the duration of your title. It's common to create templates intended to have interchangeable text and durations. For this reason, it's important to ensure your title's animations always fall outside their pause points. Every transition comes with its own set of controls which can be accessed under the Transitions tab. In addition to changing these controls manually, you can select a preset from the drop-down. The Isolate Layer button is an advanced feature that will engage a separate render pass for each object that it's enabled for, preventing objects from conflicting with one another when occupying the same coordinates. It is enabled by default, but can be disabled in large projects to further improve render times when layer isolation is deemed unnecessary. You can also turn on keyframing to add custom animations to your objects or the individual attributes of your transitions and effects. In either case, click Turn on Keyframing with your desired object selected, and a new keyframe will appear at the beginning of the object on the timeline. Move the playhead and adjust one or more attributes, and a new keyframe will be created at that point. The title designer will automatically animate the title in between those keyframes. You can add or remove keyframes by clicking the plus or minus button in the keyframe section of the Attributes tab. Combined with features such as 3D style layers and effects, the proper transition can be all it takes to take your title to the next level. And this concludes the tutorial on adding transitions to objects. To learn more about the title designer, visit the help section at newbluefx.com today.